Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this epilogue episode, basically, I wanted to just kind of follow up. So, um, in the last episode, I mentioned that uh, when I tried to reconnect the gimbal, big puff of smoke came out of the unit. And I did try a few things, and it's the unit seemed to work as far as control-wise, but frankly, I didn't trust it. So I went through and I disassembled everything, and I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in on it. Uh, but this transistor here looks like a power transistor is what fried and it, it took out a little bit over the board around it and even singed the control board. Uh, but one of the things I did want to mention is this is the Up Air 2 um, and here's the version number. So this again does seem to be a little bit different than what I've seen on the internet. So I did want to show uh, everybody sort of what it looks like inside. And here is the, um, I was talking about it didn't have a USB port. Here's what it looks like is they replaced the serial port with this connector right here. Um, so I don't know, I may hack around with that a little bit. Um, so this scene, and then also the um, electronic speed control, you see that the electronic speed control is right on the motherboard on this version. It's not in separate units that plug into the motherboard and everything is soldered together. Um, so to replace something, again, you have to go through a pretty good effort to get to this. I've, I've had to disassemble the complete unit to get to this, to this level. And so it's a rather big ordeal to get to this part. Um, and then, you know, so here's the receiver. And it feeds into, via this kind of funky harness, I would have, I think those wires are overkill, some sort of... Uh, ribbon cable I think would have done the job better but uh, this is the connection to the control board and it's, this is it says up air core and this is where the uh, on-screen display seems to feed out of and then it's also um, where the GPS receiver hooks to so here's the GPS receiver and um, there's some kind of uh, gimbal or, or access control that also plugs into it that goes down to the leg and then obviously the receiver in and uh, the one thing I did want to show you is here's how the power goes so if you wanted to do the do a battery mod I think it would be relatively easy and you could you can get to this without a huge amount of disassembly so if you wanted to replace this proprietary connector to the up air battery I think you could probably do that pretty easy and just solder in two new leads to a standard uh, battery pack lead and then just do away with this whole piece that kind of screws in there. And you use any battery you want if you wanted to go through that, that uh, process. Uh, also, while there are clips here, the wires are soldered onto the motherboard for the LEDs. Um, so what I decided to do was I've got all these parts so I actually ordered another one for the price is just kind of crazy because one of the pieces this battery alone is over a hundred bucks so I've seen it on the internet go from anywhere from a little over a hundred to hundred and sixty dollars so I figured why not buy another one and I've got an extra battery I've got an extra controller I've got an extra charger uh, I've got an extra gimbal I think this the, the gimbal actually still works um, Although, I think it will only work with an up air. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is utilizing some of the pieces. Now, I was thinking about using the control board till I seen how damaged the control board is. Uh, however, I may actually talk to up air and see if I can't get another control board, if I can get that cheap enough. Because what I'm going to do, is you see, I've already removed the motors from here. The motors are just fine. So, you know, those are 14, 16 bucks a piece. This thing is like, um, if you go to buy it, uh, a little over a hundred bucks so actually this thing is worth more in parts than it is assembled really in one aspect from what you can buy it on Amazon so what I'm going to actually do is I've uh, I've wanted to do this for a while so I've ordered the kit uh, and I think I'll put put it probably up in the corner uh, and then I'm going to build my own drone and um, utilize that to carry a 360 degree camera so but I've also ordered none of these because it just kind of crazy cheap and now I got tons of parts because you know I got a case for it I got extra landing gear and everything else so I, I may actually just sell the second controller on uh, um, 
eBay or something, I don't know, or maybe find another use for it. If you guys, if you guys can think of another use for this, let me know. But uh, like I say, I may even try to get with Up Air and get another one of these uh, control boards and actually just use the Up Air control logic for this drone I'm building. I don't know. I'll have to see how all that works out. So anyways, I kind of want to update you guys on where we're at with this and kind of show some pictures of what it looks like in this newer version of the Up Air because it is vastly different than everything I've seen on the internet. So uh, I figure out my experience should be your experience without having to go through the cost. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe button coming up over there shortly. If you're not a subscriber, please do. Uh, also, comment below. Uh, if you get any comments, let me know. Let me know what you think I should do with the other controller too. So... See you in the next video. Cheers.